Meg's weird move contacted Ngozi again as William prepares for Singapore trip, her plot to ruin Earthshot. Prince William dodged a tricky question on the royal family when he visited Scotland with his wife, Princess Kate. When north of the border, the Prince and Princess of Wales are known by their Scottish titles, the Duke and Duchess of Rothsey. The couple visited Moray and Inverness, where they had meetings with student groups at Burghead Primary School. The children were heard asking the Prince several questions. Some of the questions included his favourite football team and if it's tricky being a Prince. William repeated, is it tricky being a Prince? He dodged any complicated response by saying, it's tricky being a pilot. How's that for an answer? William is a qualified helicopter pilot who served as a search and rescue pilot in the British Royal Air Force. William has avoided answering many questions on the hardships of being a prince over the last three years, most notably those involving his younger brother, Prince Harry. Following their departure from the royal family in 2020, Harry and Meghan relocated to the United States. Since then, they've launched many attacks on the royal family, including the Prince of Wales. According to reports, William is travelling to Singapore in a few days' time. It's a no-brainer that Meghan Markle will flood us with some PR pieces in a low-class best attempt to try and upstage William. That's why she's so silent. She's plotting to destroy the good coverage for the Earthshot prize. Recently, a source on Blind Item reveals that word on the street is that Meghan's assistant contacted Ngozi Falani over recent days, but it's unclear what purpose it is. But it sparks the speculation that Meghan's plot to ask Ngozi to ruin William's trip again. This woman is still employed. Last year, Meghan hired her to cause royal discriminatory scandal with Lady Susan Hussey during William's Boston visit for Earthshot, but Prince William kept calm and carried on. William ultimately subscribes to his grandmother's keep calm and carry on school of thinking, and that's what he'll be doing, trying to get the focus back on the award, his friend said. Another source guessed that Meghan will be very busy issuing pieces that slag Catherine for not going, as well as illustrating that the Prince and Princess of Wales' divorce is looming. The thing that Meghan Markle can't seem to grasp is that she can't generate enough bad press to destroy Earthshot. William will be king and she'll still be a little nothing in Montecito. Her attempts at upstage in the royal family simply show what little she's done on the global platform and how small her world has shrunk to. No one wants to associate with her, be seen with her, or invited to anything where a mic is involved. She's got nothing. No matter what Meghan does to harm William, her husband will always agree because Harry's very jealous of his brother. It comes as it's reported that Netflix has bought Prince Harry's silence on Diana. It comes as it's reported that Netflix has bought Prince Harry's silence on Diana. Lady Colin Campbell says the $100 million contract that Netflix agreed with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle is chicken feed compared to the crown and is effectively a bribe to buy his silence. Harry and Meghan's operation is chicken feed compared to the importance they place upon the crown. Once this is all done and dusted, let's see how long Harry and Meghan's association with Netflix is going to last, because they've bought Harry's silence by dangling a few million carrots underneath his nose. She added, No one could pay me enough money to betray my parents. But I suppose Harry's a different case.